Hi Rust developers, you are welcome to the third video in the series of Rust Control. Okay, so the goal of this tutorial is to show how to actually publish to joints. But before we can do that, we need to be able to launch our file. We need to create a node for it. So basically, we just go into our launch folder in the robot package and we create a launch file. And after creating the launch file, I'm also going to shamelessly again make use of a template in Gazebo documentation here. And I paste it here, but I need to make some modifications. We can see this place is trying to reference the config file where we have the parameters. So I just modify it to our own and we can see our bot, which is meant to be the namespace. We change it to our own namespace that we used. And we can see now joint one, joint three, the name of the controller. So you actually need to check your config.yaml and name each of these one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And since what I just need to do is I just copy and modify. Okay, so joint four, three, five, six. Okay, okay, so it's perfect now. I need to come here. I want to publish to my RVs for visualization, but so not compulsory but it's good to add it so if you look at this launch file it does not have a urbf so i just come to my to my previous file and i paste it somewhere yeah so in also i need to include my plugin my plugin that i have here it's actually going to be a node on its own gazebo rust control so i just copy and paste also instead of typing afresh so i'll just so let's put it somewhere here okay so we can see gazebo rows we can change the name of this fun robot we can change it to anything we want robot description so 0, 0.0 it makes it to be on the ground you can make it at 0 0.5 1.0 it means your robot is going to float also when i launch gazebo i want it i don't want the physics simulation to start immediately i want it to be on pause okay so i need to add it here okay so then after doing that everything works fine i can change it to pause to false i mean and everything is going to be okay okay let's confirm everything is all right then we can proceed to launch our file we can proceed to launch so we can do cat can make and we source devil setup dot bash okay okay there's a spelling error yeah so okay Ma manipulator okay we're going to okay everything is fine so we can launch So basically it's trying to load we can see the different controllers so let's check our gazebo so we can see now that we have gazebo but it's not on play so if i want the physics simulation to start i click on play here so we can see some collisions happen so if i want to prevent this let me close this guy let me close let me close it and so i want to modify the config.yaml file i want to change the values of my p to 1000 my i to 0 and my d to 1 so i just copy ctrl c ctrl f i put it there 
so control H control V so it checks all of that ones and I paste okay so after doing this I have modified my parameters now I can come here again now to launch I can come to launch So it launches gazebo. Now we can play. So it doesn't collide again. It doesn't deform. So what we need to do now is we need to publish. But before publishing, let us confirm our topics. Let us confirm our topics. Okay, so I want to check the topics I have. So I do was topic list. So now we can see that I have all these different topics. So what I need to do is I want to publish to my third joint. I want to publish to my third joint so I can just copy and I come here or even before doing that I can check the type of topic it is so I can do info and it should tell us std message float 64 which means that if I want to publish I need to publish with this message type so what i need to do is it was info i change info to publish pub and i want to publish to third joint and i specify the message type you can basically press the the tab button and it does some auto complete for you so i want to publish 1.5 and let us see what happens in gazebo so we can see now how our third joint moves and i can come back and and return it to minus 1.5 let's see what happens in gazebo so you can see it moves it, it controls the joint to the position. And I can also again return it back to my previous to zero position. So we can see how it moves. So that is how to publish you can also change the joints you can play with it also i want to show you how to use a gui to publish so we just like i was run rqt give rqt give so it gives us a gui that allows us to publish directly to the different topics that are available okay it's taking some time Okay, let's confirm if acuity give. I think we have it somewhere here. Yes, acuity give. Okay, it does. It's not. Since it doesn't work, okay, let's close and. Let's try it again. Okay. 
okay there seems to be a problem with the login with the plugin okay that's that on that i'm going to show you how to publish with with a python script in the next tutorial and hopefully also i'm going to show you how to use the rqt give ui also okay see you next in the next video